Hello, hi, I'm Charles, and this is my wife. Lana, hi. Today we're gonna do some uh, cheese tasting. Cheese tasting? Yeah. Awesome, I know how much you love cheese. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> what kind of cheese do we have Well, today? they're made from raw milk. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, so we have a brie, we have an emmental, we have blue cheese, and we have gouda made of, with truffle. Wow, and super nice. Texas honey, and we have a golden bowl right here. It's called in bull. It's a French kind of type of bread. So we're gonna enjoy it, and we're gonna toast the bread first. You're gonna see everything. Cool. And uh, we should be good for that. Can't wait to taste it. Yep. <laughs> Well, we just finished uh, toasted the bread, and now we're going to be testing the cheese. Can't wait! It smells really good, and it looks great. Me too. <laughs> My heart is uh, going at the cheese, oh, the way it's melting. I oh, know. Uh, so which well, one is first? Well, I think you should try the emmental. It's the least expensive. Okay. So we'll see. Emmental. Emmental. It's uh, grass-fed. Mm. You know, and use of course raw milk. Uh, usually, it's aged about four minimum four months, and usually it's in Switzerland. They have those. It's this one, right? Yes, <laughs> this one right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my finger. Oh, I'm gonna use my finger too. All right. Hmm. A little dry. Mm hmm. But rich in flavor, very That's rich good. in flavor. It's good. I love Emmental. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it does have a lot of flavor. It's kind of soft. Yeah, it is kind it's of soft. It's not super soft, but it's not a hard cheese, and so yeah. it's good. I'm not eating it with bread. I know we have some bread here, but... We have some very good bread. Um, I'm going to taste the bread with the other cheese, but this one I'm just going to eat the cheese by itself. Isn't it true that... French people like to eat cheese just by itself, without bread. That's true, but uh, it's not very common. Okay. <laughs> you could say it's almost a, a sacrilege. You know, you gotta have bread you and cheese. You gotta have bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do. It's very good cheese. And so it's um, unpasteurized. Unpasteurized. Raw milk. See, you keep everything good. You don't have to change it, you know. It, the microclimate, you know, over there, those cows are treated the right way, you know. The nutrition from the grass, from the cow, comes right here. You don't mess around with anything. You don't need to. Yeah. And I read that also raw milk is good for our health because it introduces a lot of um, healthy bacteria. True. And it has um, all the enzymes yeah. that um, are not present in the pasteurized Milk and cheese, right? Yes. And sometimes they do pasteurize it and add some more microbacteria, but it's mm -hmm. not the same. Okay. Let's try the next uh, one. The next one is the River Ray Cremery uh, way, uh, way Blue, excuse me. The blue cheese? The blue cheese. And it's actually from Texas. Oh, wow. Uh, Texas blue cheese. <laughs> my first one ever. Texas is known for blue bonnets, but maybe now we're going to be known for blue cheese. Oh my gosh, that's going to be a lots of competition <laughs> against the French. I can imagine. Oh. So it's a double cream, mm -hmm. and it's aged at least for 60 to 90 days. Hmm. They say you could eat it also with uh, Texas honey, which we have here. Mm -hmm. You and know what? It doesn't smell like blue cheese. Really? Yeah. Let me see. Interesting. Oh, yeah. It doesn't smell like 
Oh. It doesn't really smell like cheese. Okay, let's try it. Oh my God. <laughs> I wonder it's, if there are French descendants who make this. It tastes like blue cheese. It does, but... There's lots of flavor. Lots of flavor, but not overbearing. I think I'm going to need some bread with this one. Okay. Would you like some honey with this? No, thank you. Uh, I'll just do some bread. I mean, you know what? I'm going to try it. Mm. Oh. A touch of honey. Mm-hmm. This is really good. Really good blue cheese. Very strong. It has lots of flavor. Mm, looks very nice with honey. Okay, put some, put a little bit on mine too, but just a little bit. Okay, tiny drop. Okay, thank you. This honey also comes from one of your friends, right? Right, correct. That's nice. Yes. Let's try it. <laughs> mm. Wow. It's really good with honey. Mm. They were right. You should try it so. Oh my gosh. This is very good cheese. Yeah, and very good. You bought at um you the bought Whole the Food. cheese at the Whole Foods. Yeah. Very nice. So if you haven't tried this cheese You should. You should. Yeah. I don't know if you can find, if you're not in Texas, yeah, you probably might not won't be. be able to find yeah. it, but you never know. Yes. What is it called again? It's called River, uh, River Way Creamery, Way Blue. Way Blue, it yeah. is. It's very nice. It's very nice. All right. All right, so we have another one. It's actually a Gouda made with truffle. Oh, this one. Yeah, it's only one farm, by what I understand. Mm -hmm. Who made this is a Dutch cheese uh, made one with uh, only one farm mix it uh, for twenty generations. They've been making it, and that's um, where did they make it? In uh, in Holland. Oh, cool! You know? Definitely smells like truffles. It what does. Truffles. Do. Um. Mm mm mm. Mm. My gosh, so rich. Mm -hmm. Very rich. Yeah. What is the name of this cheese? It's called uh, Claire Melt. Claire Melt? Yeah. Truffle Gouda. Yes. Very good, very good. Yeah. I already love Gouda, but with truffles in it, it's even that much better. It's made of raw milk. That's the thing, you know. They, uh, it's not pasteurized, but they kind of uh, get the milk in some temperature mm -hmm. to make sure it's uh, clear, but, um, mm -hmm. you know, put bacteria, but it's raw. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very rich. Getting full already. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to need some uh, wheels on my chair. I mean, it's going <laughs> to warm me out. you out of here? Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Very good. The next one is a special... Um, special brie. I've never seen a brie in the whole United States uh, this way. Um, Have you seen it in France? Oh yes, I did. Cool. But this this brie is actually a uh, model from a French uh, bakery. I mean, French uh, excuse me, uh, cheese, and it's from uh, Vacherie du Monde, du Monde d'Or. So it's modeled to that to that uh, same company. It's unpasteurized, which is very rare for the United States to yeah. see this, which is good. You know, I think if we all are eating more healthy, the raw food, mm -hmm. you feel better. You just feel better, mm -hmm. you know? You know, you don't have to have a lot. You just have a little bit of everything, mm -hmm. yeah. water balance, and you got a good meal, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's actually a wrap of uh, spruce bark along the side. You can mm -hmm. see that right here. That's nice. And this use is only used at the end of the summer to make that cheese because it's more rich. Hmm. You know, and it's brighter uh, grass from Wisconsin also. Oh, this is from Wisconsin? Yeah. 
Wow. Two, man, two, uh, mm -hmm. two thumbs up from Wisconsin because this is incredible. But uh, oh, let me try that. So oh my gosh, it's even melting. This one where we be melting. put on the bread and it's just. Wow. Okay. It just looks nice. Mm. Wow. Incroyable. It's very creamy. Yeah, it's good. Very creamy. Very creamy. It tastes awesome. like a very traditional French uh, brie, you know? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent cheese. Wow. It's perfect as it is. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I haven't seen um, a cheese like this ever be made in the United States. It's mm -hmm. even rare to have seen this like that mm -hmm. in, in France because they're pretty pricey. But this is just unbelievable. Was this it, one pricey too? Oh man, it was. I think it was about $20, $24 at Whole Food. I was mm -hmm. like, wow. But it's worth it. It's, oh. it's worth it. Here we have our helper. <laughs> Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. Phoebe likes Maybe cheese. she likes cheese too. <laughs> Huh, Phoebe? Um, so, which one was the least expensive again? It was the... The Emmental. The Emmental. Mm -hmm. Then the second... The blue cheese. The price was the blue. Right. Then the Gouda, yeah. the truffles, and then the most expensive was the... Brie. The Brie. Awesome. Well, they're all great. All great. Yeah, they are. They taste amazing. Yeah. Um, it would be nice to also pair it with some wine. Well, that's the coming next, next time. <laughs> next time. <laughs> you know, we try to find some good wine and, you know. But, you know, with different pricing, mm -hmm. you know, different people have different budget. Yeah. So we want to make sure, you know, you can enjoy something good. Mm -hmm. Try to go more uh, the organic way, yeah. you know. Because I know a lot of people get uh, allergies, oh, you know, yeah. and I do, you know. And so... Um, Something is actually healthy for you, you know, without, you know, drinking too much, but just enough to enjoy it with the cheese. And mm -hmm. it's all a balance of things. Mm -hmm. So you love cheese, and so this cheese, cheese, what do you give it from one to ten? Oh, this is definitely a, a ten plus. Mm -hmm. um, the good I would say it's uh, probably a ten plus too. I the agree. blue cheese too, I'm very surprised for Texas blue cheese. I'm, mm -hmm. It's just, uh, they did very well. Mm -hmm. It's not too strong. It's just a, a test that gives you like, it's just like you're eating something and suddenly that test comes after, but it's a test of uh, the release of that. Flavor is just unbelievable too also. Mm -hmm. The will be the, you know, there's no, I mean, there's some flavor you could test, you know. Mm -hmm. It's a different type of flavor, like flowery, I think, or more. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, you can feel like almost the grass, you know, the cows are eating, mm -hmm. you know, more rough. So would you give it um, a 10 also? On a mental, maybe, uh, which is good, you know, it's just a matter of taste, but for me, I would give it a maybe a nine and a half, you know. They're all good. That's They're all excellent, good. you know. Mm -hmm. The Very bread good. is amazing too, you know, mm -hmm. fresh bread. Yes. You know, the honey was great. I mean, this is, everything is fabulous. Awesome. You know. This was a great tasting experience. Yes, it was. Thanks for finding all this cheese. Oh, well, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> no, it's not easy. I like to spoil my wife. <laughs> Thank you. <You're> welcome. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank well, you for watching. Thank you. Come back to Charles and Charles channel. You'll have more tastings like that for you later. Yes, I will. And I might help once in a while. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.